Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Faye, I also go by Faye. And today I have my, I don't want to say my top podcast, but podcasts I've been listening to a lot. Some podcasts I've really been loving. And it varies from storytelling podcasts to like talk show kind of comedy podcasts. So first I'm going to start off with storytelling podcasts. I'm going to start with number one, which is also my favorite one from this whole list. And it is, mm, is it my favorite? I'll say it's one of my two favorites from this list, and it's called Blackout. So according to the description, Blackout is an apocalyptic thriller set in a small town community trying to hold itself together in the dark. The reason why I liked it is because of the sounds and the elements that they used to kind of paint a picture. It's kind of like listening to a movie, but you have no visuals. If it's raining, there's like sounds of rain, little details like that. And a lot of the podcasts I talk about with the storytelling aspect all have that in common. Hey! Who is there? Hey, stop! Stop! Oh, God. I've gone through it in my head so many times since. He was wearing... Next, I have Carrier, which is my second favorite from the whole list. So, keep in mind, everything I talk about, I really like these podcasts. But these two are my top top. So it goes Blackout and then Carrier. So Carrier is relatively new and it's also produced by The Q Code, the same company that also produced um, Blackout. But her job, she drives um, four wheel trucks, is that what they call Like those really big trucks that do a lot of shipment um, back and forth within the US. Plays around with the actual mechanics of it. So if two characters are talking, so one character's audio will be on this side of your ear the other one will be on this side of the ear and it goes back and forth. So it's almost like you're in the middle of a conversation. Highly recommend this podcast. The storyline is amazing. It has elements of, uh, of horror. I won't say it's terrifying, but it's definitely bordering on horror and a little bit of sci-fi here. Some unanswered questions and it's still an ongoing podcast. So with Blackout, season one is done. But with this one, they're still releasing episodes every week. So I highly recommend. Uh, it smells funky like like moldy so your malfunctioning refrigerated trailer full of produce is warm and smells bad sounds like you solved your mystery wait, all on your own wait there's there's something big moving around behind the pallet it, it's glowing glowing <sighs> so next i have earthbreak and earthbreak is a podcast by skylark media and how they describe it is a thriller series that releases every Tuesday and Thursday behind and it follows um, a girl in this post-apocalyptic world where aliens have come and they've pretty much taken over um, our society, civilizations, the human race and some people are surviving here and there and she's one of them and she's by herself and just follows her how she like survives when it comes to like looking for food, scavenging for resources. And then a lot of stuff happens which I don't want to spoil. But something really big happens that makes it even harder for her to survive. But at the same time, um, brings her a source of joy. And again with the audio, they play a lot with like natural sound. So from her perspective, so she has a tape recorder and she's pretty much talking to t the tape recorder. And it's kind of a way for her to cope as well as, um, you know, document what's happening in this po post-apocalyptic world. What a bullshit up here. Lay in! Wait in the car! It will be right there! Jesus Christ. We have to get out of here. Josh says they're closing the bridges. They're shutting the whole thing down. Who the fuck is Josh? Josh Hennessy. On the radio? Okay, why don't you say the radio guy? Why are you acting like Lynn! They're quarantining the city. If we don't leave now, we will not be able to leave. Do you understand? So my last one is called Tales. And Tales is a podcast that each episode is very different. And it just takes on folk tales, um, those old stories we heard growing up. Things from like Cinderella to Little Red Riding Hood. All those folk tales that we grew up listening to or our parents read to us in books or we watched the movie version. And it shows the true history behind it and how it was originally meant to be told. Because a lot of stuff has been watered down to be more um, 
easier for kids to understand and make it more like a nice happy ending everyone lives happily ever after but with this it goes back to the very dark times the times where people were writing stories not really to make kids feel good about themselves just to tell horrific stories about how humans can be and it's really cool so each episode is very different so you don't have to start from the beginning or anything you can just start with any episode and yeah it just dives into the history tells a little bit of like where it came from so like what country the author um, what language it was originally written in and then tells you the story in the most detailed and realistic way a decadent meal sat on the table but the queen was too angry to eat how dare he she thought how dare he do this to me? Queen Anne considered herself to be a very generous woman. She tolerated much more from her husband than she should be expected to. She could handle his inattention. So now I'm going to move on from fiction to nonfiction, but still with the storytelling aspect. And for this, I have two podcasts. And the first one is called The Habitat. The Habitat? The Habitat. The Habitat. Anyway, so this one is, um, it follows the story of um, a NASA experiment or NASA research project where they take a bunch of young um, people who have the potential to be astronauts or who have similar attributes to astronauts and they put them in a confined space in a remote island um, in Hawaii on an active or semi-active volcano. And the whole point of this experiment is to make sure they can track and see how people will act if we send people to Mars. I think it was Mars? Yes, Mars. And because in the future, NASA wants to um, take a bunch of astronauts to inhabit Mars and see if we can survive. And the story pretty much follows them from when they get into the dome to when they get out and what they have to do in order to like work together, survive, just different things that go into a space ex expedition. And for this one, the story is told through a journalist, but she gets them to record their day-to-day -day and send her clips so she could monitor and see how they're doing. And she kind of weaves everything together into a nice little story. And there's also definitely, even though it's like a science-based podcast, there's a lot of humor, a lot of human elements, even some romance in there here and there. So I highly recommend you check that out. This is the way up. On a volcano in Hawaii, there's a pretend planet Mars. Oh, is it coming over the horizon? Yes, yes, that's it. This is the story of six people chosen to live on that pretend planet. They definitely feel like a bit, yeah, almost like an animal that's in a cage. I'm Lynn Levy, and this is The Habitat, a brand new series from Gimlet Media. And then my last podcast is called Passing Through. And Passing Through is by a young lady who tells stories of her different um, travel experiences or different moments in her life that ties into travel, into culture, into different experiences. And she uses a lot of elements of, if she's talking about something, she has audio or different sound effects to go along with it. So if she's in a rainforest, the background is kind of like a rainforest atmosphere. If she's in a cafe, you have the background of like a cafe, of like that white noise behind you. So really cool um, audio elements to it and the way she um, narrates each story it's like reading a book and her voice is also very soothing and highly recommend really really good stuff my fingertips gently massage my mouse as i scoured travelocity.com our hotel was booked now we just needed flights two round trip tickets to san juan puerto rico the 26th to the 29th four days that should give us a decent amount of time to recharge but more importantly, reconnect. You see, my boyfriend at the time was in a funk. Now I'm gonna move on from storytelling podcasts to podcasts that are pretty much the format of a talk show. So the first one is called The Receipts Podcast. And this podcast is by three women based in the UK, specifically London. They grew up in the UK, they're from the UK, but their background is also very cool. So one of them is Colombian, one of them is from Ghana, the other one is Nigerian. So it's a nice mix of how um, their experience of living, dating, working, and just being in the UK, or more specifically in London, and also how their cultural backgrounds play into like their lives and 
dynamics with family and it's really really good I highly recommend it. and they're hilarious and they have another aspect of their podcast which is them answering people's dilemmas um just talking through people's issues it's yeah i don't think it's by force that you do it if it's something that happens then and it's natural and it feels organic and right then by all means do it um i think definitely building yourself like absolutely if it's the option between having a hoe face just because you're bored and building yourself then i would definitely work on building yourself you yeah know? Absolutely, i think yeah. if it's between those two for sure and i feel like you- so my next podcast is random order so this podcast is by for y'all entertainment here on youtube or for for ye for short and um just like the podcast says, random order. They talk about anything in any random order. Whatever they're thinking about, whatever is popular. Uh, Sheldon, is your airdrop on? It can be on. Turn it on, please. Okay. This was Sheldon in Miami, everyone. <laughs> Except. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys also have any podcasts you've been loving, anything you've been listening to, I would love to know. I'm a person that when I find a podcast, I like dive in and pretty much listen to everything that I can. So I need some new podcasts to listen to. Hey.